All right. <laughs> so ending round two. Next up is round three, where, where we will share idioms and expressions related to what we do. And do we have any volunteers on who would like to start? I will set the timer to one minute. And I'll go. I'll go. You know. I'll be the victim. I'll be the the yeah, the sacrifice. <laughs> Okay, so okay. What I'm what I'm gonna do is I will say a word first to see if you have any idea what it is. Then I will include it in a sentence, which should help maybe with a little bit of the meaning. Oh, perfect. And after mm -hmm. that, maybe I'll just never tell you the meaning, and you'll never know forever. <laughs> you'll be like three o'clock in the morning thinking about what is that word, or oh, I could give you. it to you. We will see. We will see. <laughs> oh. My goodness, are you ready, Abby? <laughs> mm, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm gonna. Ah! I mean, I'm not sure either. But yeah, let's now do the it. first one may be used in another country. I'm not too sure, but it's used a lot here. But I've used it before, and people will be like, "What is that?" With other teachers, but I'll give it to you. Okay. When does the ready? minute start? Yes. With one minute on the clock and begin. Chili bin. Like a chili pepper. A chili bin. A chili bin be the, the place where you keep your vegetables. Oh, that sounds interesting. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Bin. But I, I'll give you an example. Bin. Where are the, uh, where are the, okay, the pronunciation, or the, the pronunciation of this word, bears. <laughs> where are the bears? Ah, they're in the chili bin. Uh, uh, yeah, the fridge. You can, this is, you can take it to the beach. Oh, there's like the, Ice box. Like ah, the, I knew there'd be different yeah. names for it. You got the cooler, and you got the was it the ice box? Ice box. What do you call it? What do you take? You take it to the beach, and you just get yeah, yeah. your things cooler in that chili bin. Chili. Bin. chili bin. Cool. That makes sense. I was yeah. thinking chili as a pepper. <laughs> yeah. Oh, me too. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Next one is you probably have no idea. Jandal. Gosh, that's the timer. <laughs> I, I so something bad. about a sandal, isn't it? A sandal? Is there like a flip flop? Yes, a jandal. A the flip thing flip. that your mother throws at you from a distance and it still like <laughs> flies in the air, manages to hit you the back of the head. That's a jandal. <laughs> no, it's, a, it's something you wear on your feet. <laughs> a oh, flip flop. Like she said, flip flops. Okay. I yeah, was like, a wait flip -flop. a second. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, you put them on your feet so you don't get hurt when you're going across the hot sand. Jandal. Jandal. Cool. And I learned that we only use that here in New Zealand when I went overseas. It's like fascinating. Just yeah, what you learn when you travel overseas. So is it is a jandal like a sandal or more like a flip-flop? Flip-flop. Okay. Okay. Like you put your wedge, your big toe and the other toe in the bit of Got it. <laughs> That's how it Do is. People call them like thongs or something. Yeah, thongs. But uh, I think thongs also mean something else too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A friend told me once. Okay, so yeah, those those, those are two of the words that I have. Awesome. Thank you. I do you. have more, but I can we can talk about them later. Awesome, Abby. We're gonna start with you. Are you mm -hmm. ready? Yeah, I have okay. things that your parents might say to you. <laughs> shut up <laughs> okay apart from the obvious thing <laughs> shut up eat your dinner <laughs> ready okay on the clock and go okay were you born in a barn were you born in a tent you left the door open left the door open <laughs> yeah it means close the door and you um, said it's a tent <laughs> yeah uh you make a better door than a window <laughs> get out the way you're blocking the tv exactly. <laughs> or something <laughs> yeah exactly it's usually the tv isn't it out the way um <laughs> it's like blackpool illuminations in here ah i imagine blackpool you've got that thing that goes out into the like the pier that goes full of lights and everything like that so it's like really bright in here uh, yeah, all the lights are on. Like all oh, the lights are on. Okay. As well, all the lights are on. Just like black poly illuminations in here. Um, do you look like? Uh, does it look like I was born yesterday? Like are you <laughs> stupid or something? You're like yeah. you think I'm do stupid? I look stupid. Yeah, am I stupid? All right, last one. Oi, cloth ears. 
<laughs> oh, you can't hear right. me. Some oh, it's gone. Them. Like, yeah. listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I mean, can you repeat that last one? So the time went off and I didn't get to hear it. Can you mm. repeat the last one? Yeah, it's oi, cloth ears. Oi, cloth ears. Cloth ears. Ears, cloth are made of, material. ears are made of cloth. Yeah. And what does that mean, Rob? Uh, cloth ears, I imagine, is someone that, instead of having normal ears that can perceive sound and what someone's telling you, it's made of cloth, which is like completely useless yeah. for listening. Flapping, flapping around ears that are just for show. That's yeah. another one. Are your ears just for show? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you listening? Like, yeah, you're not. Okay, got it. Yeah, I was just thinking, you're not listening, or do you? Are you listening? Nice, yeah. Yeah. wonderful. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, so guests. I want to give you a very, very, very big thanks for being here today, being a part of our show. Mm -hmm. I hope that we can. Thank you for inviting. Yes, I, I just it's wonderful. I had a good time. And every single time I have people on the show, I learn something. I've learned so much. <laughs> I'm going to have to go back and replay this and see what you've said again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So now for the audience out there, where do you think that Abby is from? Okay, now we'll ask Rob. Rob, do you have a guess as to where Abby is from? I would say England originally. Your 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 accent has a tones from the south of England. Now I have no idea what part. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded good, but I have no idea. Yeah, you're right. Regional you're accents. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you mentioned I, uh... Blackpool, so I was like, maybe <laughs> just a while, you know. <laughs> yeah, Blackpool. Yeah, no, Blackpool's in the north. No, I'm okay. from the south of England. <laughs> you are correct. Yeah, I had no idea. Yeah. Good guess. Yeah, I'm, I'm from the southwest of England, to be precise. Southwest England. What city can we ask? Uh, originally Bath. Oh, oh nice. I saw some something on some pictures and about that. Was it a day or two ago? Like, oh, oh okay, another one for the list. <laughs> <laughs> the Roman baths there. Yep. That's and it. viewers, where do you think that Rob is from? Now there are some clues within this picture here. I've got a Okay, first of all, behind us, this is the city where I'm from. If I move to one side, mm. you can see a, a, like a tower there. This is called the Sky Tower, which is supposedly the tallest tower in the Southern Hemisphere. You can bungee jump from it too. Bungee jump. Oh, that started, was created in this country too. Okay, interesting. <laughs> also, I have a design, which oh, over the side, <laughs> uh, which is also from this country. And I've got the word... Haka, which is a native word from my country too. So those are all easy clues, easy clues about which country I'm from. Abigail, what do you think, Abby? <laughs> I think, oh, uh, well, it's pretty obviously Australia. Australia. Isn't it? <laughs> oh, you're thinking of the West Island. No, 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 no. <laughs> the West part of New Zealand, <laughs> known as Australia. No, I... Jan Dawes gave it away, along with all the other clues, as New Zealand. <laughs> exactly, that is right. I'm from New Zealand. I don't know if I have a strong New Zealand accent, though, because, like, I'd been away from a country for, like, 20-odd years, mm. and I sort of lost it a little bit. And it was funny because when I could come back home, like, a couple of years ago, I was like, oh, that sounds funny. <laughs> 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 You're speaking like, yeah. Because <laughs> it's like quite nasal and quite yeah. So I don't know if I still have my my Kiwi New Zealand accent. Mm. Ah, that's something. Sometimes do you know about uh, people from New Zealand are called Kiwis? Do you know about that in the states? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because some like I remember. So I'm a Kiwi, and they look at me like what fruit? A fruit? Or... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm like I'm hairy, and if you come open, I'm like green inside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember something about okay so I do have to say I used to work for B VIP kid and there's a whole curriculum where they talk about the kiwi bird and also yes. the, mm -hmm. um, the dance the haka but I forgot yeah. how to do it yeah but 
Do you know I've actually done that on live TV. Oh. <laughs> By myself. <laughs> do it is there something you could show us or is that it's it's a okay the traditional one is the one that they do at the beginning of a rugby game oh cool which uh, and the the national rugby team is called the all blacks and before they play against any team anywhere around the world they do the haka and the words uh, there's two versions of it but the most typical one is and it goes on and yeah i I know it all but i won't do it here but it's just like just a, a a type of um it's like adrenaline rush for the players, but at the mm. same time, it's like, come at us if you dare type ah, thing. Okay. And, and, and they've been doing it for like just about a hundred years now. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, I believe that I saw on Facebook, there were, uh, 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 I want to say a group of college students, maybe there were college students or it could be high school students. I thought they were doing the haka there are different types of there are different types of haka. Yeah. You've got the like for example, you've got the regional ones like from Samoa and yeah. Fiji. They've all got their own t- and sometimes they will do it, I think, from memory, before mm. a, a rugby game, they'll do their version of it. So we've got uh-huh. the Samoa playing against New Zealand and they're both doing the haka, their own hackers at the same time. And they mm. get like really like, oh, this is gonna be good, like the energy on both to, sides. And, and to it's pump, great. To pump it's people like, yeah, up. It's like, yeah. It's also spirits. like to make you know make the other people feel like oh, intimidate, intimidate yeah. also. It's like come at us if you dare. And they used to do this before war too. Uh huh. Like between so, the local the tribes. The the one that I saw it, it was it was sad, but it was also beautiful at the same time. I believe that the person, the boy <laughs> that was leading it, the young man who was leading it, his brother died. It was like ah um, oh, yes, they do that for the um, funeral or that's something. a that's another thing you can have there's there's so many types of haka and it's like mm. tribute and it's like you know a send-off also typical wow. at funerals and you'll have like a thousand people sometimes doing it because it's because yeah. of their tribe their family their school like schools often have their own hackers and they'll do it in certain situations and, and, it, and it's, it could be yeah. quite as bright there was a teacher once that died and the students they all did it wow. for the for the for the the what do you call it the the funeral car <laughs> yeah <laughs> the hearse the that's ceremony. the word I was thinking of yeah yeah I I just I remember it being so powerful I could feel the emotion and you could see like the energy and you yeah. could I thought it was such an I honor the most famous person that does it is the Rock mm. Dwayne Johnson. He actually went to school here for a while in New Zealand. Oh, nice. oh yeah, we said it. <laughs> yeah, New Zealand. In New Zealand. Yes. Oops. Yeah, just opened something up. Yeah, he actually went to school here for, for a while. But he also has those origins. That's why he's got the big tattoos and everything, like, from mm-hmm. his culture. I can't remember if it's Samoa, American Samoa. Mm-hmm. I can't actually remember where he's from. Mm-hmm. But he takes that into his movies and, and things like that. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. I've had a great time. I really wish you luck with everything, with your business, with your families. Thank you so much. And just have a wonderful day. And God bless you. Thank Thanks you so much. a lot. Thank you. <laughs>